What is up, everyone, and welcome to our Boundless Special Event After Show, where we're going to dive in and talk a little bit about the announcements we just made. I am our typical streamer here, Jake, and I've got Whitson and Lane here on, on the line. On the line. That's not a term we really so, use anymore. That's not. my. We were at a hotel this morning, and my, my five-year-old son walked over to the phone, the hardwired phone, and said, what's this? <laughs> and I've never felt so old in my life. Wow. So... Uh, What's up, Lane? How you been? What have you been gaming lately? I am rediscovering uh, Battletech again. Oh. Nothing like blowing up snappy <laughs> robots. Yeah, yeah. I, I do like blowing up it's robots. Do you Wait, see are you that? Playing old Battletech, or is there like a new Battletech game that I missed? It it's old, new. It's a modded version of the one that came out in like 2018 or 2019. Okay, that's not that long ago. Yeah. I got games on my backlog that are easily that old. Yeah, I, I, I know how it goes. Just a rant. I'm thinking about Max. I'm thinking about giant robots. Did you see the, the train uh, robot they built in Japan that they used to repair tracks? It's like a mech. And it's, it's piloted with VR. So there's a pilot in VR controlling like a mech that's basically attached to a truck, like on a crane. And they use it to like build and repair the train tracks. I'm like, it's happening. Japan has mechs that are functional in a way. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I just looked it up. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> really cool, really great. Um, and it's all controlled by VR. But anyways, we got other technology to talk about today. So let's just jump right into the discussion. Let's start with the Strixcar SE. What is different with that guy compared to this guy? Oh, man, I'm psyched. Lane, you talk about it. The best got better. So um, <laughs> <laughs> the 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 scar 15 and 17 that we released at ces this year were already the fastest gaming laptop that you could buy it's got fast memory top of the line intel cpu uh 150 watt uh, tgp uh, rtx up to 3080 ti um so what could we do to make that even better um you take the regular liquid metal and you upgrade that to uh, conduct not extreme you get an additional five degrees celsius off the cpu temperatures right off the bat and then you do a custom vapor chamber that covers pretty much everything that makes heat on the machine. So you get up to 175 watts on a laptop GPU. This thing is ridiculous. It's, it's nuts. I don't know how they pack that much power into it. So just the, to be clear, the conductor not extreme was on the regular SCAR. It's just not on the Strix G15 and G17. But the ah, vapor yes, chamber yes. is new. Yes. That is nuts. I love vapor chambers. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a powerful machine. 65 watt CPU and 175 watt uh, GPU, depending on dynamic boost levels. Um, so we're we're getting into the area where uh, a laptop RTX 3080 Ti is almost in desktop range. That's insane. Um, yeah, in in a 17 inch form factor. So hats off to our engineers on this one. Yeah, for real. Milky Ice, I know you were asking for a 15-inch version. This is only 17-inch. Yeah, this is right only now, 17 Right now, at least. But yeah, that, that 12950HX, I was surprised that they not only boosted the wattage of the GPU, but also put an even more powerful CPU in this thing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, got a death wish, we are not unboxing it today. We don't have these just I yet, know. but we will be unboxing them very soon. We were hoping to have Sasha on this morning. Uh, and maybe he would have had one to unbox, but unfortunately he was not feeling too well. Jake, by the way, your feed is empty for us and people are saying that we're not on YouTube. Uh, we are definitely on YouTube, but it is a different event. Um, but ah. I, so it works a little bit differently there, but Twitch, we're here on the same channel. Um, but yeah, no, the, this is, this is the beauty. We obviously just saw it on stream moments ago. I can't wait to get my hands on this. The aesthetic on this device is... I was going to say, Lade, you skipped the best part. How did we make the best better? Well, we put invisible ink on it. That's right. how we I was, made it better. I, I, I was going to get there. I was going to get there. <laughs> so uh, I'm lucky enough to have uh, Scar 15 that I'm able to play around with and do a hands-on for. Um, so I've been using the 15-inch version of the regular Scar um, for a couple of months, and it's a really cool device. Um, I prefer the understated... Um, design where uh it doesn't have all the cyberpunk uh oh, writing on really? it really i do i do because I, I like to go uh incognito as much as i possibly can <laughs> but this thing is absolutely 100 percent um cyberpunky and i, I do love, love the cyber text it's so cool mm -hmm. 
I do love that we took the time to make an invisible ink that um, is the same texture as the metal on the lid. Oh, wow. So when it's not actually illuminated, you can't tell the difference. Um, it's, a, it's a very cool machine. It's there, but it's subtle. Yeah. It kind of just looks like, yeah, like a bit of a texture. I kind of wish it actually stood. Like, I'm on the other side. I'm like, man, I love that blue and green. I love the colors of it. And I just want to, like, shine a UV light on it all the time. I want it to be RGB. Right. Yeah. A, 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 a new anime matrix for Scar. Dude, that'd be sweet. No, this is awesome, though. And, yeah, and it has hints for Scar Runner, which is also cool. Um, but it's got all the same RGB as the regular Scar as well. So, um mm -hmm. It's not it's not completely uh, stealth. Yep. And you've got the customizable armor caps, too, which is always fun. So yeah. like the regular Scar, you can really kind of make this device your own. Um, it's got that awesome keyboard and trackpad that are just like miles beyond a lot of laptop and keyboard uh, or laptop keyboards that you use these days. Nice deep travel. Yeah, the Scar it's extra is... large. It's, it's actually great to use on a regular basis. I can attest to that. It's it's a very big laptop keyboard. I haven't got a chance to hands on with this year's scar, but yes, I used last year's scar and I was very, uh, very su pleasantly uh, surprised at how nice it was. Yeah, I mean, just to like I mean, have it in, in hand, it's it isn't this is not the SE. This is the one that we released at CES. Um, but yeah, the keyboard, the travel depth is really I think it's identical on these devices, right? They haven't, we be, haven't yeah. messed with the it, keyboard at all. It should be, uh, it's, yeah. It's really nice. I mean, it's very all, clicky, nice travel depth. All the differences besides the uh, invisible ink cyber text, all the differences are on the inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The vapor uh, chamber. And... That sweet, sweet vapor chamber. Um, so for those of you who don't, don't know, vapor chamber is, um, I mean, it's what it sounds like. It is, you saw a picture of it in that event. It is like this big, big chamber uh, that covers like, you know, I don't, what, do we know how much, um, how, you know, on the, um, it's just under 50%. It's I was like going to say on the G14, it's like 48% of the motherboard. So it's cooling the VRMs and all of that other stuff, but it's, it's more efficient than a heat pipe design because it's just this giant, um, this giant block that goes onto the motherboard as opposed to a bunch of heat pipes. Um, so that gives you really, really, really awesome cooling in a machine that already had awesome cooling. Um, so yeah, that's pretty, pretty awesome. I have to say, I personally am more excited about the Flow X16 though. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. get there in I a mean, minute. And just to address chat, I know people are excited. They want an RG phone six. The RG phone's <laughs> very popular. I hear you. I hear you. We, you know, we hear you all. Um, people are saying we don't need big laptops. Uh, pff, maybe you don't, but some users absolutely need power Dude. like this. I mean, uh, this for a like on the road gaming and or streaming machine, it's extremely capable and you call this big, but you compare this to what we had five years ago and this is half the weight almost. It's significantly lighter than what we had for desktop replacements like five years ago. This thing is an absolute monster and it's really not that big. I can easily lift this with one hand, no problem. Big laptops back in the day, you couldn't do that, right? No. <laughs> uh, so... I, uh... When I got the Scar 15 in last year, I was like, oh, they're giving me the the that chonky one because I was expecting something right. like from 10 years ago. And I took it out of the box and I was like, oh, this is actually th really thin. You say 10 um, years ago, but I, 2016, they were still like that. Like, that feels like 10 years ago. I, I, I know. Well, five still years ago. Fine. Time has no meaning anymore. <laughs> no, it's not like it's not a chonky machine. Um, it is. It's not a Zephyrus, but it is thin, easy to carry around, easy to use. And you know what? If you are. Wait. It, what Zephyr M16? Oh, there you go. Star, yeah, side by side. Next to each other. They're extremely similar, right? This is they the are, M16. This is the Scar. That extra thinness on the M16 isn't nothing. You know, if you're like, if you're gonna be carrying it around in a backpack all day long, I personally would go Zephyrus. But um, if you're gonna be playing games at a desk most of the time, or you're really seriously competitive. You know, when it comes to esports, you want a machine that's going to give you all of that power and not just all the power inside. But let's also remember that the display on the Strix machines is is 
far beyond in terms of competitive play what you're going to get on other laptops mm -hmm. because you get a full HD 360 hertz display or a QHD 240 hertz display. Um, that's when you're playing competitive CSGO or competitive Overwatch or whatever, uh, you want as high a refresh rate and as low a response time as humanly possible. And that's something you're only going to get on the Strix machines. Yep. So there, I there are lots of that. devices to be made for these. I can speak to that a little bit. Uh, I uh, was playing with it on my lap, didn't have the machine um, on a desk, so given it not quite the best airflow situation, um, I was consistently getting uh, 240 FPS in CSGO. So I was maxing out the refresh rate on the display with the SCAR 15. So the 17 Special Edition is going to have absolutely no issue uh, hitting the uh, max refresh rate on the display at all times. Yep. So if, if that's the kind of game you play, that's the kind of gamer you are, then um, the Strix machines absolutely are still your number one choice. Yep. And, oh, uh, you know, you, because they're because they're a little bit bigger, they got that big heat sink in them, the big vapor chamber, you're going to have a little bit less fan noise, things like that also matter. You would be surprised. I, I actually am a small laptop guy myself. Zephyr's G14 is still like my my go-to hey you like but, small screens i you know people like small they like well, lightweight I like i'm not screens. that person i like big screens but i, I like, like big screens I, and i cannot to, lie when it comes to carrying around the laptop i want something as small as possible i'm slowly yeah. realizing though that i don't carry around my laptop as much as i used to like i'm not in college anymore and so actually well, these 15 16 17 inch laptops are really great for when you're if it's just going around your house or your apartment why not get a bigger screen? See, sometimes my, my most use of the laptop is sometimes I just need to break up my rhythm and go to a coffee shop, right? And, and I just want to mm -hmm. go and work out of a coffee shop. And that really helps me focus just because it gets me out of my normal space sometimes. Um, but like that, that's when I, I look at the, the X16 as a dreamy device because it is, yes. it is a good size display, but it's also very, very compact compared to the SCAR super thin and it's the size of like a typical 15 inch laptop mm -hmm. that's the tough thing about some of these names i think flow x16 and i'm like 16 inches is huge and it is but the laptop isn't bigger and same right. like the m16 right like it's actually like the same as the 15 inch laptops of yore that screen just goes straight to the edge of the bezels mm -hmm. so the flow 16 you know talking of our dream i think the flow 16 might be my ultimate dream laptop oh yeah I'm going to put it out there. The G14 has been like my 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 dream for a long time. And the X16 or X13 is also been my favorite. And this is like taking the best of both of them and putting them together. Like, OK, you've got. Crazy power for a machine this size, right? You've got uh, a Ryzen 9 6900 HS and up to a 3070 Ti. That's enough to get you playing any modern game at great frame rates on that QHD 165 hertz display, mm -hmm. right? Uh, now that is, we've had that in laptops before, but this is like the thinnest laptop we've ever put that into, okay? That alone would be enough to just like shut up and take my money, right? But the Nebula HDR display is, is next level crazy. We were just talking about this the other day, guys. If you were here, you know all this already. Mini LED, something like 500 dimming zones, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. 512 dimming zones. Uh, so those lights can dim down to give you really, really deep inky blacks and really, really bright highlights up to 1,100 nits of peak brightness. So you've got incredible HDR on this thing. Possibly better HDR than your TV at home has, right? Um, Probably. For gaming, for watching movies. And this is the other thing. It's it's a 360 degree hinge. That like, I, I feel like some people don't get how amazing that is, especially when you combine it with this display. So I was on vacation this weekend and I brought the G14 with me and I was playing Elden Ring while I was on vacation uh, because I'm just addicted. Don't judge me. Um, and it was it was really comfortable. I'm just like kick back on the couch, laptops on my lap and play with an Xbox controller. And the whole time I was thinking, man, this is awesome. 
But the only thing that could make it more awesome if it was on a bigger screen with better HDR and you could flip it over and put it in tent mode. That's what the X16 does. So I was just thinking of the X16 the whole time. As someone who's gamed on the X13 quite a bit, one thing I'll say is that tent mode is insane for thermals. It just has like such a huge impact yep. on the performance of the machine. You can see right there just the way it can vent right out of the top. Uh, it works so so dang Especially well. if you're playing on your lap on a couch mm -hmm. or, or, you know, you have a blanket on, like you don't want to put your laptop on a blanket and cover up the vents, especially on a device that thin where, where cooling is so crucial. So tent mode is going to give you that extra cooling. And the other thing I like about tent mode that I feel like people don't talk about enough is I feel like, especially when I'm lying down on the couch or I'm in bed or something, tent mode allows me to put it in positions that I couldn't otherwise quite get a normal clamshell laptop in, mm -hmm. right? If a surface is uneven um, and it's hard to like balance the device on it, or you're like like really, really lying down in kind of a weird way, like you could, I've like had the screen like where it's 90 degrees where like the bottom is resting on my legs and the screen is coming down like this. Like you can do all kinds of things with a 360 degree hinge to fit whatever way you are being lazy in that particular moment. And to be able to do that with a display that's better than my high-end TV, forget about it. Like, this is the ultimate laptop in my mind. If if I saw someone on an airplane, like jamming Elden Ring or whatever game they're playing, in tent mode like that, I'd just be so jealous. Sitting there with my Switch or something, like my phone. Yeah. It's like, my right? screen's so pitiful next to this. Your 720p device with no hdr <laughs> don't make me cry and and, and tear like like tiny little controllers like no i i actually i actually sold my switch because of rg phone you did yeah, yeah my switch is gone wow with the kunai who needs it like you know anyways. i know the kunai is awesome and i i brought that with me too the, the kunai is nice because it's a bit more compact mm -hmm. um so if you can't quite fit or if you have a you know just bringing a small bag somewhere you don't want to fit like a whole xbox controller in it the kunai is great but we, but we need I to clarify we're not talking about any new rg phones guys i know chat's eager to hear anything but we have nothing to <laughs> you say you shouldn't have, you said the i words, know James. i know <laughs> it's like saying ice cream in front of a child or like you know this is how you know what's in front of a kids. dog because you, if you say ice cream in front of an adult i get excited um <laughs> jake takes it as a promise you say ice cream and he's like where I, I literally say that to my wife. I'm like, you can't say that word without me getting it. Like it's Dude, just my it's wife illegal. does the same. My wife says the same thing. If Good. I say like cake, she's like, well, well now I well, now we're committed. Yeah, it's you've <laughs> opened that door and it's we're, we're going there. But um, I mean, yeah, this is a, a gorgeous device. I mean, 360 uh, degree hinge. You can, you know, full touch screen, right? We're, we're retaining the touch screen yes, on it. Full, um, touch, so full screen, touch screen with the Nebula Which is also HDR. nice when it's in tent mode and you just want to boop, mm -hmm. boop with Gorilla Glass as well. So you can actually use it and not worry about scratches. Yep, great. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so it's basically a giant, beefy tablet married with a laptop. Yeah, and it's cool if you wanna play like touch games on it too, that's always fun. You can like put it in tablet mode and, and uh, do that too. But Yeah, I did I that with the X13. Um, the X16 is, I mean, it's, it's large comparatively, but... Um, Compared to what, sorry? Just the 13 inch display, right? It's, it's, oh, it's yes, you know, it that's is. the 13 inch oh, display yeah. is a pretty ideal size for like, you know, the standard lightweight small tablet. This is going to be a bit beefier, but better, almost better for like, you know, an artist because the touch screen can, can work with like a walk. Beefy is pen. not a word that I would use to describe well, that's this fair. machine because but, it's so thin. But, but in the context is... of like tablets, like tablet like device, oh, yeah, it's going to sure. feel more like a laptop in that. The in screen that, it is, is just expansive, yes. right? Like you think, oh, three inches that's like not that much but when you're sitting this close to it it's just it, the difference is stark yeah um and especially because it's not just three inches it's three inches diagonally which means it's actually quite a bit more surface area in terms of that screen um which with 512 dimming zones is gonna knock your socks off i mean i want to watch movies on this thing I know. Like, I don't yeah. just want a game i want to watch movies in bed with like a my good headset right and just be like like tiny movie theater experience in bed. That's what I want from yeah, this. No, as in, much as I want it as a gaming machine. In in tablet mode, that's it's the ultimate portable HDR setup. You just mm. take it anywhere. That's yep. dreamy. Um, exactly. And we haven't even talked about the XG Mobile. Just just wanna before we get like, there. All just, that's just on its own. Just wanna like clarify. We don't have any details to share on pricing, right? There's been a lot of questions. I don't think we have anything to Not share yet. Yeah. Yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Um, Sorry, guys. Stay tuned. Mm. And again, it's that's going to depend on your region, availability, yeah. and pricing. We do not have yet. It's been a year, guys. 
it has been a, a couple of years. Um, but okay, so let's let's talk about the XG Mobile. Now, traditionally, the XG Mobile is is a tool where you can have it with, like, say, an RTX 3080 in, inside that XG Mobile dedicated GPU. The XG Mobile has four USB-A ports, a power uh, adapter, Ethernet, um, Display Port, and HDMI. And with that, you plug it in to basically direct connect with PCIe and USB-C on the side. So it's going to power and go give that power directly into the board. And that's going to let you take your, your X13 or your, your, your Z13 traditionally and, and enhance the performance with a 3080. But here with the X16, it's coming equipped with up to a 3070 Ti. So where do you guys see the XG Mobile landing for this device? Well, 3080 is still better than a 3070 it Ti, is, Jake. It is, it is, but... Just and also, let's not also remember that this year uh, we have uh, an XG Mobile with the Radeon uh, 6850M XT. Oh, that is true. That, that model does So you have, you have well. two options there. I still like the XG Mobile for I.O. expansion mm -hmm. because with a, with a device like the Flow, the dream, right, is to have it on the go, but then also bring it home, dock it, and have desktop class performance with desktop caliber as you can see in this image here on screen yeah it's basically like, one real, plug real into, your into your machine yeah how many usb ports do you think all of us have in use on our desktops right now like i have three of us i probably have more than both of you combined i'm maxed out and i have two hubs okay maybe not. i'm i'm maxed out and i don't have two hubs so i'm using 12 or 13 something like that yeah i have 16 so that's, I mean, you know, I, I, you could get a, a cheaper device for just IO, but for me, that XG Mobile is all about expansion and future upgradability. Yeah. Too. Um, you know, this, this, this flow family is expanding, right? We're coming out with new XG Mobiles. So in a couple of years, when maybe the 3070 Ti isn't doing as much as you would like it to on that 165 Hertz HDR display, you know, we're playing Unreal Engine 5 games or whatever, you can buy that year's XG Mobile and effectively upgrade the GPU in your laptop. That's the dream. Right. Yeah, that is the dream. <laughs> and this and and the X16 um, also has uh, a free M.2 slot that you can upgrade whenever you'd like. Nice. And both RAM uh, SODIMs are accessible. Nice. So this one this screw is for a, each. I don't want to use the word future proof, um, but it is an upgradable um, device for the future. It it is of one of the most upgradable laptops you can get in that sense, right? Because you can upgrade the RAM storage and the GPU. Now, other laptops you can use an external GPU. That's nothing new. But the special thing about this is, uh, A, the external GPU uses that proprietary connector we have, which allows more um, Fast, more bandwidth less for the GPU. Yeah, less of a bottleneck there. And and the XG Mobile is so freaking small. It is not like a desk. I mean, you can see it in this picture, right? It is not a that's big tiny. honking thing with a triple slot GPU in it. Yeah. It is like the size, I like to describe it as like the size of a hardcover book. Right. And not like a big one, like a, like a small normal one that you would actually not a brand read, brand read, read in a decent amount of time. It's not like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Or Harry like Potter Harry and Potter the, Sorcerer's, the Sorcerer's Stone, the first book. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Sorcerer's Stone, not... Deathly Hollows. I don't know what the last one is. Thank you. Yeah. I'm actually not a Harry Potter fan. I got But you. that is a really good example. Um, so, you know... While you aren't upgrading the GPU inside your laptop, you're still upgrading it with something that you can easily carry around in a bag with you if you want that power on the go. Me personally, I like I could see myself playing on a 3070 Ti for a long time and just using the XG Mobile at home, but that's the beauty of the versatility. Jake, did you wiggle? I did wiggle. Don't worry. I saw the Good. Twitch for Deem. Um, a lot Team of questions. Uh, sorry, just, just addressing it again. A lot of people asking about pricing. We don't have any details and we don't have any pricing or any details on availability just yet. That will be that will vary by region. Um, you know, pretty much everything has been delayed across the board just due to global chip availability and the state of the world. Um, <laughs> so I wouldn't expect it immediately exactly, but we don't have any information to, to share. Um, soon, but when we do... We'll share it right here on Pulse. We so follow do. us. Yeah, we always do. Uh, Team Dim says, "How about power consumption running a full movie in HDR?" Hmm. Actually, I that'd be a, I'd be really interested to test that. That's a good I question. I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it to be that much more crazy than watching a movie in SDR. Because remember, as I have said many times on this show, HDR is not about running the display at full brightness all the time, especially when you're talking about that mini LED display. Uh, you're not just running that backlight at full. 
you're only running small pieces of the backlight at full at certain times when there are highlights on the screen. Mm -hmm. HDR is not about putting 1,100 nits in your face full screen. It's about little tiny bits of it being Broader full range. brightness yeah. and uh, giving you that pop while a lot of other parts are going to be really dim because of the dimming zones. So, you know, I, uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't expect you to, you, you know, you'd be able to make it through a full movie without a problem. I would think in HDR, I haven't tested it. We'll find out, but we will find out. I'm sure Jake is going to watch one when he gets it. Jake, you, I, I want you to send this to me as soon as you get it. Don't even open it. Just, <laughs> don't just do, shoot do, it. Do, do we know for a fact that I'm getting both of these? You are. So well, that, well, that, that, what, know, what that means is as soon as they come, we will be doing a proper unboxing stream. We will and, be unboxing these on stream. Yep. And, uh, and then we'll, beyond unboxing, we'll also do some gaming streams with them. We'll be showing off the gaming performance of these devices. Uh, I assume the X16 will be standalone without the XG Mobile, but we will find out. I don't think I have an XG Mobile here anymore. Uh, um, you should. I thought I, they sent you one. I don't know. I have so many boxes. Well, if they, if, if you don't have one now, it's coming your way. Okay. I have put in for one. You should be getting one of everything this year. Yay. <laughs> um, got a death which says 4,000 series GPU for future. I'm not aware of any 4,000 series that you speak of. What are you talking about? I'm just about? kidding. We, we, I, I have no idea what's coming for the future of this device. Um, I, we, you know, it, I'll it, say this. The, the idea the, is, 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 I like it and it makes sense. I do like it. But there's, we can't like say we're committed to anything, right? And, and generally we, uh, we don't know those things. But, but I mean, concept, look at the history of the X13. Yeah, yeah. They upgraded that 1650 to a 3050. I would not be surprised if we, this the laptop sticks around to see an upgraded version one day. Yeah. Is it going to come like in two months? I, well, actually, I don't know. I was going to say probably not, but I actually don't know. So I guess I can't say that. But I wouldn't I wouldn't bet a ton of money on it. Uh, generally, you don't come up with a laptop, uh, keep it for two months, then release an upgraded version. But I guess that's exactly what we did with Strix Scar SE. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I we just came out with the Strix Scar in January, and there's already a better version. I, I love seeing all these people that are calling the X16 their dream laptop. And what's in your one of them where you just look at this as your ultimate, like this is the end game for you. But... And technically, the Z13 isn't a laptop. Technically, it's a tablet. But for me, I, I prefer that. But I guess that, that's why they both exist, right? That's I love. I like being able I mean, to remove the keyboard completely. I like all the hardware being beneath the screen. I just like that. Um, but it is a hard decision. It's, Don't it's, get me wrong. It's, yeah, it's, it's. I'm still torn between the X16, the G14, and the X13. Yeah, right. They yeah. all have their. It's like that triangle of like tiny, powerful nebula hdr pick two or whatever you know like it's 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 a tough choice and like even just from day to day i'm like well today i want a small laptop that i can carry with me and tomorrow i'm gonna say i want a bigger screen because i'm just sitting on my couch um so until we come with, out with a laptop that morphs like 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 the t1000 just turns into liquid <laughs> and gets bigger uh and like wraps around your arm and becomes like an armband <laughs> that's next yeah. generation liquid metal please oh geez. yeah um, now, if you could put this Nebula HDR in the X, X13, that would be a very difficult thing to turn down. Or the Z13. Oh. That, yeah, yeah. Um, another question is, w will it come with a pen like the X13? So that actually varied with the X13 even by region. Um, so that's a hard question to answer, but... The, the answer is possibly, maybe. Possibly. <laughs> um, because, yeah, like, like I said, like previous versions some regions came with a pen some didn't it's basically like we offer that bundle and then your region will decide that hey we want to sell it with the pen or we don't want to sell it with the pen like it's, or it's want like to a... sell it with the xg mobile right or... exactly so those bundles are all or with um, a gladius mouse like yeah those are all determined by the the regions and the retailers essentially so like bh yep. or you know whatever your region the retailer is um so possibly if your region had it and it was successful and popular then i would say probably but we don't know. And that's that's something else we haven't even talked about because this device gives you, yeah, if you're like a digital artist or something, oh, no, this, this that's gives the you first a thing I really thought. This is great like... big canvas yes. for art and, and a lot of power for it too. Yeah. Um, if you're, you know, doing video editing and things like that, you've got some uh, not just CPU, but GPU muscle to put behind that, uh, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. This would be a pretty cool streaming device. Yeah. Is I... it a better streaming device than the Duo? Whew, tough call. 
because that um, duo's got that second screen. The secondary screen is really needed for the tools for streaming. So I think that's definitely the better streaming device. This you would need to get like one of our portable displays to go with it to really kind of match that. The oh, that would be cool. Um, the but it or if yeah. you're streaming at home, this is I mean it's designed to be hooked up to this bigger monitor like what you're showing on screen yeah. right now, right? Like this is and this is the thing is we all talk about like which of these laptops is our dream laptop, but they really all have their place. Oh yeah, for different yeah, people. Yeah. It's funny. I mean, you see chats go by. Someone was like, 17 inch laptop. That's too big." And then just like everyone comes out of the woodwork and is like, "Dude, I don't go anything below 15 inches." Are you kidding me? Like everyone. It's funny how specific everyone's desires are. It's true. We all uh, got our stuff. We're watching the Justice League Snyder cut on HDR. Yeah, that actually would be a cool movie to watch in this i'm not gonna hate on the snyder cut now could i turn it vertically and watch it that way because the snyder cut is like isn't it four by three <laughs> you'd want to watch it vertical just actually a, that a, would a be a four hour long tiktok video uh that would actually be pretty cool because like on most tvs are 16 by 9 right so a movie like that um I mean, I don't want to get on a rant about this. People were like hating on the Snyder Cut for being four by three. And I'm like, guys, you know, most movies aren't 16 by nine. Like they're they have black bars on the top and bottom. So this is it's the same surface area. It's just moving the black bars to the side Yeah. of all. The, like I thought it was dumb until I watched the movie. And I'm like, oh, no, this is actually totally normal. But what's cool is if you put this on a 16 by 10 display, like the ones we have on our laptops this year, you actually are using more of the display because you have you have less black bars because you have the taller uh, right it is yeah it's a little bit taller right it's a, it's a little bit closer to that four by three aspect ratio anyway uh not that i want to uh spend the next hour talking about the snyder cut i just dropped a link in chat for both youtube and twitch where we have this microsite um that for the scar runner game this is something we unveiled something you can download for free on steam and basically um this has got some some hidden features built in uh, this this gameplay it's a parkour game but you can also sign up for a chance to win the, all this sweet hardware, including oh, yeah. full laptops. Um, so you have until June 30th, but you, you basically there's a there's a Gleam campaign. But you, you also need to play the game. So make sure you, you check out this link in and chat. And it is DLC for ROG Citadel 15. So yeah. you got to download ROG Citadel 15, and then this adds on to that. And yes, look, here we are live on Twitch, too. We're always live on Twitch. But, yep, the link's right here on this page. Just click it. It'll bring you right to the the actual Steam page um, to download the game, and then you're good. Should we uh, – Should we, is the giveaway global? Uh, this, I is, read... this is run by our global audience, so it, it must be. It should be. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. It doesn't actually specify any specific region being, like, restricted, so it should be global um yeah i would expect so yeah it should um, be good. but yeah we're giving away what five scar 17 se's we're giving away the strix xg27 aqm plus gladius 3 wireless rog scabbard 2 fusion 2 there'd be four winners of that the uh crossbody bag and cobra buckle cap one winner is going to get that another winner for more rg slash gear and uh two winners of rg phone 5s so it's a lot of swag Ooh, to be won. That is a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. this is I actually... kind of like the I kind of like that crossbody bag. Yeah, with the yeah with the blue and purple buckle. It's pretty snazzy. The Chewbacca, the Chewbacca strap. The Chewbacca. The Chew... <laughs> <laughs> should we uh, should we look at the Ava stuff real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I know this wasn't announced in the event today, but we haven't talked about it on Pulse. It was yet. announced this weekend, so it is yeah. it is very new news. New news. Um, did I close? You could have just said news. Yeah, but it's fun to say new news. It's what news means. Uh, so, okay, there's a whole Evangelion uh, lineup that we just unveiled um, where it's it's everything. Just like last year, we had a Gundam lineup of, of products for, ranging from, you know, components that go in your machine to actual peripherals. And, of course, the case, this is the, the Helios edition of the Evangelion. I'm a, I like, I 
watched the entire series of Evangelion on a flight to Germany where I was like super exhausted, like compl- like severely sleep deprived. And the show made no sense. That's the only way to watch and, Evangelion. And it was like, it blew my mind. I was like crying. I was like, like just a, a mess. I was absolutely enthralled by this show in that like context of like, I'm on this airplane. It was weird, but I'll never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget just binging this show. Cause I, I intended on sleeping on the flight, but I was like, I can't stop. I can't stop. And I, so Evangelion has a, a special place in my heart and I don't know this, this, this partnership and this amazing lineup is so cool. Look at that graphics card. The yeah, graphics card is dope. So I, the first thing that I saw from this lineup was the keyboard. And for some reason I thought we were just releasing the keyboard. Oh, that would have been I was like, like eh. I was like, that's interesting. But then when I saw the whole lineup, I was like, Oh my God, this yeah. is amazing. You got, I got to have every single one of these things. That case Oh my gosh. It all looks so much the, better in motion. The design the on the front of that case here. is gorgeous. And yeah, that GPU just looks so baller. Yeah, they didn't put the YouTube video on here. Jerks. There's a YouTube <laughs> video. You guys should definitely check it out on our, our official YouTube. Yeah. Um, Cause it's, it's really just, yeah. The motherboard. Incredible. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. And now I like, Oh, do I like this better than the Gundam line? I don't I know. Actually it's do. tough. Like I like all mechs equally, but the aesthetic here. Mm. I feel like generally I prefer the Gundam. As, if you're talking about the mechs, I prefer the Gundam aesthetic to the Ava aesthetic. But I actually, I really love the colors of this and how it looks on the hardware. Yeah. It's really, it's really. Ugh. Purple and lime green are not want. common motherboard accent colors for sure. They are not. They should be. They are not. I, you know what? I feel like it was like, you know, eight years ago when we had like that green UV water cooling tubing and things like that. Like I feel like purple and and lime green was probably a more more popular color scheme back then. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There were a lot of a lot of bright colors back in the day. Get in the Helios case, Shinji. The Helios case. <laughs> uh, Shinji Baka. Um yeah. That's, uh, so is is that is that design on the front the Ava is that RGB or is it like it holographic? Is. So it's, it okay. was also it was the same way. Like so the, the traditional Helios case too. It's it's like a glass panel that's etched right. and it has RGB on it, and that's the same thing with the Gundam version. So you can you can use like a whatever kind of RGB profile. You can do single color with it, I believe. Um, yeah, and it, it does animate. You know, it pulses uh, whatever kind of animation you want to do on it. It's really Asian Venom says I'm waiting for you guys to do Dragon Ball Z. Oh my goodness! Just, just all oh. orange, orange and orange and blue. <laughs> when you turn your machine on, it starts like the Super Saiyan charging sound. I would, I shut up and take my money. <laughs> <laughs> you turn, no, you turn your on and your computer just starts screaming. Ah! <laughs> it's not stop. That's just the noise it makes when it's on. That's, that's the power supply. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Just, this... just nonstop grunts. What is, what is this toey animation? Let's let's get let's, let's get it on. Let's do it. <laughs> um, d- after today's release, does that mean there will not be new products released for Computex? Stick around. D- d- okay. Yeah. Stick around. Yeah. So, so I mean, Computex huge event. Very uh, end no, of the month. Not. End of the month. Very soon, right? It's in. Actually, I don't remember. Isn't it's it soon. like May twenty eighth? I'm not uh, going. I, so well, yeah, I don't know. May twenty, well, May twenty fourth. So Computex is like a week away. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Just, um, just check the Computex, see what you see. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so some pretty, some pretty sweet, sweet stuff we saw this this past week. We got the the new Evangelion lineup it's available soon. TM. Um, I believe it's it's going to start rolling out fairly soon. Um, the Gundam stuff, I'll just say like that stuff kind of came and went really quick. Like people scooped it up and then we did have multiple batches, yeah. right? You know, we, we, we restocked it as, as much as we get can. Get it while you can. Um, but it, it definitely like went aggressively at the start and was, especially like the GPU that was, I mean, they were hard to get in general. They're getting a little bit more available right now. Availability is, is better than ever. So if you, if you're trying to buy a GPU and you've been waiting, the prices have, have only improved, um, significantly and the availability is only improved. So be sure to, uh, you know, start, start considering that new build. If you've been waiting, this is, this is a really good time to be looking to build a new machine. Um, wait, Jake, there's one other thing we forgot to talk about. Uh-oh. I just sent it to you. You got to open it up. Oh, this no. isn't even ROG, but, oh, no. but we got to, we... Oh, oh no, this is not a no, no. This is a, oh yeah. Um, yeah, it is. 
So what about the anime matrix on the G14 higher end models? Yes. Uh, those are not available in the U S yet, but soon to stay you. tuned. Like I said, it's been a tough year. The, the 3080 Noctua edition. Finally. It's not even ROG, but I feel like we got we got to just talk about this for a hot second because this also uh, was announced this week. And boy, is that a thick boy. It's so thick. 4.1 slots. It's so awesome. I love I, it. I dare you to put that in an ITX case. <laughs> <laughs> just because. Uh, It'd be hard. You, are, be you already know how my last ITX GPU upgrade went, so I'm done. I'm, I'm not upgrading that GPU until I have to. No, this thing is so sweet, though. I'm so stoked. The only when they, we released the first one, I was so hyped, but I was like, why no 3080? And now here we go. This has, I mean, you guys saw the 3070 Noctua edition, so I won't wax poetic about this forever, but this has everything you expect. Big honking heatsink. The mean... NF812 by 25. Uh, fans, which are like literally the best fans you can buy I know. today. They're just so right? juicy. Um, that I, I, that backplate, I love the way that backplate looks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get a GPU and the, and the shroud looks awesome, but the backplate is kind of meh. Like, no, we don't mess around with our backplates. This thing is sweet. Um, it's got all of the same features that you would expect from like, you know, a nice Asus card. You've got that um, dual BIOS switch so you can choose between maximum performance or um, maximum or minimum noise levels, right? Um, you've got that vented backplate, our auto extreme assembly technology for uh, as little human intervention as possible when they're manufacturing the cards, 144 hour validation process. So you know that it's going to last. Um, yeah. This so thing is one thing I want to say is like this aesthetically feels like old school. Like I think everything about oh, yeah. this GPU looks like kind of like an older generation of GPU. But I think that's really cool, especially when everything else in the space is like so different. RGB filled. This is just like that. This old school function. It's it's it's, it's plenty of people love that that aesthetic, too. So I think it's really nice. I've never seen like I've never seen a knock to a product that looked this amazing <laughs> the knock knock has always had like they're kind of their like aesthetic that you know a lot of people really love um and it definitely gives like a really cool distinct look uh to your machine my first heatsink was a knock with that brown fan i will always remember it fondly and I, for the same reason i feel like yeah this gives me old school vibes but the shroud on this just brings out that color scheme mm -hmm. in a way that I feel like nothing else has before. Um, it just looks so good. And then you combine it with all your other Noctua fans and you can have a whole, what didn't we, didn't someone do a Brown themed Noctua build that looked like amazing? Oh, probably. I can imagine. Them yeah. They're, really nice. they're around. Yeah, for sure. And, and yeah, to, to answer chat again, uh, it is 4.1 slots. Thick, thick being the key word here. Yeah. Because the heat sink itself is like 2.2 .2 slots, <laughs> which is like <laughs> the thickness of a lot of actual crappy scratches. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to put these uh, on the site because I don't I don't want to get like copyright strike or something. But guys, just like Google knock to a themed build with the, with the, our 3070. And there are some actually sweet, sweet looking knock to a themed builds out there that like, people have built with these uh, these cards. And now you can get it with the power of a 3080. I'm back looking at the Evangelion stuff. <laughs> Get the Ava case, put the Noctua card in it. That's That would clash a little bit. But, <laughs> but hey, if that's what you're into, do it up. I um, mean, speaking of clashing, that's the cool thing about the Noctua 3080 is if you're uh, a Noctua fanboy, then you can make everything match. You don't mm -hmm. have to have a that black true. or white GPU. You can have a Noctua themed GPU. I mean, you could have spray painted it. I've seen people spray paint GPUs brown to match okay fair fair you play can do it but fair play i'm not matt, a spray i'm not a, i'm not a spray <laughs> painting my gpu kind of guy i have limits and apparently that's it like i'll spray paint some things but i uh yeah spray painting the like my motherboard or gpu i'm not quite there so yeah motherboard no i wouldn't <laughs> do that <laughs> do you remember when linus did that like years back and I, it, yeah, I don't think I saw that episode. But oh, I can dude, believe it was like it. years ago, and he used it in his personal rig for like years. And I was like, "Damn, the cojones so, to just right, paint a motherboard and use it daily driver, and it worked. It didn't, it didn't break anything. Nope. It, yeah, it was pretty sweet. 
but everyone in the comments on that video were just like, what are you doing? But it looked great because that was back before, like, you couldn't always get the color scheme you wanted in the motherboard yeah. you wanted. And yeah. these days, I feel like a lot of motherboards give you like a kind of a more monochrome base for you mm -hmm. to build off what you wanted. But back then it was like you could get motherboards that had like red accents or a few with blue accents or yeah. blue, heat, be, blue heat sinks. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, OK, but a lot of the gaming ones were red, but he wanted blue. So, yeah, he's spray painted it. I actually you know what. I have to take that back. I have plasti dipped parts of my motherboard before really did you you had to disassemble it though right i yes i so I, it was just like a couple of like the dude people are going to really get on me for this but it, like the vrm heat sinks and uh and the chipset heat sink uh granted the heat the, it was like the shroud above the heat sink right it wasn't like the actual part that was like dissipating the heat but uh, yeah i unscrewed those from the board plastic dipped them to give them blue accents and put them back on the board and it did look awesome uh, so I guess I have to take back everything I just said because apparently I am that type of person. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm so mad at myself. I could have worn an Evangelion shirt today. Jake. Like, I'm going to wear an Evangelion shirt next time. You should. I have so okay. many weave shirts, I, but yeah. I'm done now. I think that's literally all of the hardware. That all, we the, all the news. This week. All the news this week. Um some pretty sweet stuff we will be doing unboxings of both the the x16 and the strix scar se so look forward to that as soon as they arrive we'll be you know we'll announce it on on discord um be sure to type exclamation mark discord in twitch if you would like to join um i i don't know if i'm gonna stream or not today i have a lot of stuff i gotta catch up on since i'll be doing a full stream on on thursday but possibly i'll try to squeeze one in but regardless this is going to be like the last week of our weird streaming schedule thursday will, will not be a pulse since today is kind of our pulse this week thursday will be more gaming stream trying to beat elden ring and definitely be streaming our normal time slot on friday as well and the next week everything will be back to normal for our normal streams um very soon we will have unbox we will have uh unboxings for these new laptops but also some of this evangelion stuff i can't say we're going to get every product but we are going to get hands on some of the you're evangelion getting evangelion stuff. stuff i believe so i talked I, I already requested it so i believe we're going to oh. get some evangelion, evangelion stuff that i'm going to fight to keep because i really like it um yeah like, good luck with that like i was excited about gundam but evangelion whew, baby that's just spicy um save your clout for when they when they release the super saiyan stuff jake dude oh man <laughs> oh God, this is, it'd be this really is funny if in like German a year that dreams. happened, you would I would take take Twitch would take credit for that. My my wife would would die if I could build her a Vegeta PC. She would just die. Like my wife would probably make incessant fun of me, but I would do it anyway. <laughs> Different strokes. Supersonic. Uh, there we go. Now uh, you're talking, man. You guys all want credit. Um, any any final thoughts or things you guys are excited about or things you want to talk about before we 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 dip for today? Check out the Discord, guys. Yeah, we are exclamation point Discord and chat. Someone just actually just brought it up, and that reminded me. It's it's check going, out our Discord. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be changing in, in the near future. Um, like you know, in, in a good way. We're, we're we're making some changes there. We already started. Um, I don't know, putting our our touch on it. I suppose we've got the keys to the castle, as Woodson said. Yeah, yeah. Come hang out. It's gonna yeah. It's in the it's in the process of evolving. Um. There are a lot of channels in there right now. We're going to kind of shrink it down a little bit. We're going to kind of create a, I mean, if you guys love the community that we have here on Twitch, which I do, you guys are all awesome. And I love hanging out with you. And I wish I could do it all day. So that's what we're doing. Discord. You. Go join. TVZ Instinct. <laughs> well, guys, um, that is going to conclude our boundless talk show as we dove in. <laughs> to just kind of more of the specifics and of course the evangelion stuff we'll see you on a normal time on uh thursday this week but until then ggs and take care